Hi, I'm Kim Ying Tang. Today I'm going to present my research on the design and evaluation of a virtual reality simulation addressing the lived experience of breastfeeding. This work has been done in collaboration with my co-authors, Catherine Gerling and Luke Kurtz. Breastfeeding brings many health benefits for parents and children, but the process can be very challenging. And the NATO education promises to equip parents with the understanding about the feeding process. However, the current approach taken by the NATO education tend to focus more on promoting breastfeeding, for example, by casting breastfeeding as an instinctive and trouble-free process, while making little references to the lived experience itself. As a result, parents do not gain enough insight into the feeding process, leading to surprises when they are confronted with the reality of breastfeeding. Within the HCI research community, there are efforts in addressing some of the barriers to breastfeeding, for example, there are apps that help parents find suitable nursing spots in public, facilitate breast milk donation, and provide automated first line of support. More recently, there is a growing body of research that recognizes the relevance of the lived experience of parents in technology design. Here, prior work has not explored how insight into the lived experience can be integrated into technology design. We see an opportunity for leveraging virtual reality in this space because we all have the potential of immersing users in experiences that are otherwise inaccessible. Building on this potential, this work aims to capture the lived experience of breastfeeding parents and explore how it can be conveyed using VR. Our work aims to answer two research questions. What design considerations need to be made when creating interactive simulation to convey the lived experience of breastfeeding and its associated challenges? How do parents and parents-to-be perceive an interactive simulation of breastfeeding? And what is its potential for antenatal education? Our work was structured into three phases. In the first phase, we leveraged an Oculus Rift VR headset, a leap motion hand tracking controller, and tangible representations of a baby to create an experience prototype that showcases the potential of VR. Here, we attach the leap motion to the front of VR headset to track the user's hands, and we also fix a VR controller to the tangible representation of a baby to track the position of the tangible baby in VR space. This enables meaningful hand interactions with a virtual baby that we present in VR. We crafted two breastfeeding settings, each hint at different level of influences of the social and environmental factor on the feeding process. We then demonstrated this prototype in online design workshops with 19 participants. In each workshop session, we invited participants to take part in four design activities. A drawing task reflecting how participants see themselves in breastfeeding settings, a semi-structured interview, mood boarding, and storyboarding of breastfeeding scenarios. Using thematic analysis, we crafted two themes from our data. Our data suggests that parents need to embrace the asymmetry in parental role in their breastfeeding journey. For instance, parents need to acknowledge that breastfeeding support can be nuanced and doesn't have to involve infant feeding. In theme 2, there's a consensus among parents that the process of feeding a child involves uncertainty and that they need to be emotionally resilient and adapt their expectation of the process and the practicality of feeding a child. From the design workshop, we collected visual artifacts that help us iterate on our simulation. In the revised simulation, user can experience the uncertain process of latching a baby, nursing a child in three different built environments with and without the presence of other people. In phase 3, we leverage the revised simulation to engage 10 participants in a hand-on experience followed by a semi-structured interview probing about their perspective. Through thematic analysis, we crafted two themes. In theme 1, our data suggests that the simulated experience triggers a flashback to memories in the early days of parenthood and prompted reflection on the experience that breastfeeding parents go through. We notice instances in which the simulation triggered emotional responses as well. Here, our simulation elicits the complexity of the lived experience, for example, by teasing out the uncertainties and difficulty in latching process, and highlight the importance of support, particularly from partner. Despite this potential, there exist instances in which participants' expectations do not align with the features provided by the simulation. We refer them as microfriction. For instance, Micro friction caused by the look and feel of the simulation, the lack of interactivity with respect to the breastfeeding process and with the simulated agent, and the absence of tangible or haptic feedback. Drawing from our finding, 
We can conclude that the simulation of the lived experience needs to convey and one picture and balance the positive and challenging aspect of breastfeeding. This way, simulated experiences can contribute to the reflection without overwhelming users with challenges or discourage breastfeeding. In addition, it is particularly important to be aware of relevant customizations to suit individual experiences and to avoid creating a disconnect between simulation and reality. In terms of users' perspective toward the simulation, participants noted that the simulation was engaging and that it sparked reflection and highlight challenges of breastfeeding, but not in a discouraging way. Further, they suggested that it has the potential of supplementing antenatal education by giving a glimpse at the lived experience, enabling exploration of the wider challenge, but not so much in teaching the technicality of breastfeeding. Here, we demonstrated that it is possible to design an interactive simulation that provokes reflection. In other words, a simulation that probes personal experiences and question the initial assumption about the lived experience. However, our work contradicts common game design practices, which often thrive for realism and provide guidance, explicit goal, as opposed to nuance and vague experiences. This is in line with the work of Khaled about open-ended simulation that prioritizes question over answers. We argue that the vagueness allowed user imagination to develop, creating a space for meaningful reflection. While it is possible to capture the lived experience and present it in a simulation, there are a number of challenges that future work need to address. First, the sensitive nature of breastfeeding makes some aspect of nursing inappropriate to convey. For instance, the simulation of pain or overwhelmingly challenging experience that might discourage breastfeeding. Second, the uncertainty experienced by the participant led to microfractions, which participants suggest that could be resolved by providing in-simulation feedback akin to what is provided in games. However, we would like to note that the real-world breastfeeding comes with the same uncertainty, and it is in fact a challenging aspect for new parents. And finally, it is essential to recognize the extent of subjectivity of the co-designer and the researcher that transpire into the virtual world, as it potentially reflects the societal stereotypes and norms. To reduce the risk, we therefore recommend offering a high degree of customization that can mirror the user reality. We hope that our work can encourage and support the further development of experiential technology that supplements existing efforts in antenatal education. Please refer to our full paper for additional and more nuanced research insights. Thank you.